Providence, Rhode Island, home to seven colleges and a thriving art scene. This Renaissance city is a constant beehive of activity. In 2005, Abby and her best friend Rico bought a restaurant called Down City, smack in the center of town. Rico and I were on the beach one day and I told him that I was interested in buying Down City and he said, I want to own a restaurant too. I was spending a lot of money in restaurants, eating and drinking, and I figured why not give myself the money instead. <laughs> Make it a double. He has a full-time day job, and my job is to take care of everything in this restaurant. You start with all the specials, I'm gonna get the wine. Okay. Well, I've been in the restaurant business for 33 years, so the decisions I make, I really don't consult, reek out about them, I just do them. And this would go perfectly with the pork special. I am the checkbook behind Down City, and I was putting 100% of my faith in Abby. But at this point, it's not going well. I need more asses in the seats. I think it's a beautiful restaurant. I think our menu is creative, and the food is good. I don't know what's wrong. What's all fucked up? Abby has her blindfolds on because she doesn't want to admit that she's part of the problem. Just give him, no, let me do it. Abby acts like. Whatever, don't argue. Corella DeVille. <laughs> I just let an answer when I call something out. Abby is a complete psycho fucking bitch. I just want an answer. Which is a recipe for utter disaster. I had fixed it yesterday. I checked it before I left. Is this like really fucking happening? I'm not yelling, I'm talking. They think that this is a democracy and it's not. If you cannot follow my rules, then get the fuck out. As long as you work for me, you do it my way and upset. It's basically Abby's way of the highway and it's definitely why a restaurant's failing. Welcome to my nightmare. There's no consistency. It's just like mushrooms. If people are complaining about the food, maybe there's something wrong with the food. It is impossible for the fries to be ice cold. Maybe just Abby saying it's great does not make it great. That's how the plate is prepared. Do you not like it? No. She built this 50-item menu that is just horrible. They hate the chicken pie arts. What? Nobody can say anything about the menu because it's her menu. She takes it personally. Maybe they're not the right decisions, but they're my decisions. I have to get Abby on board to move forward because my life is at stake here. All I think about is why people are not coming to my restaurant. If something happened here where I had to declare bankruptcy, it could very strongly affect my day job. That's stress. We've got all these bills to pay this weekend. That's the stack. This week. I've called upon Chef Ramsey because of his honesty and bluntness but he's gonna have his work cut out for him. <laughs> I guarantee. Hello. Hello, Chef Ramsey. How are you? Welcome to Down City, nice to meet you. Likewise, my pleasure. And your first name is? Abby. Abby, good to see you. Love and you're too. the owner? I'm the owner, general manager, everything. Yep. My business partner is in here, he'll come in tonight. Okay, great. Yep, his name is Rico. Right, so you're trained classically in terms of? Absolutely not, you would not want me to cook you anything. Oh, really? And on a scale of one to 10, mark the food, what would you say, where are we? It's a 10. Wow, it's wow, wow, wow. Yes. Perfect, I'm starving because the room service next door was shocking. The, wait a minute, wait, the room service next door was shocking? What do you mean it was shocking? Uh, I, there's a little hotel next door, a little boutique hotel. We do the room service for that hotel, what was the problem? Honestly? Yeah. That was embarrassing. Why? What did you have? This pissy, grainy soup that was stone cold. Hold on, it gets worse. Crab cakes that were stone cold in the center. It was just like this ball of mush. Disgusting. 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 Whoa. I was like, oh, damn, he went there. He just really went there. That's impossible. That's impossible that the crab cake is stone cold. You're telling me I'm exaggerating? I think you're one of those customers that I would fire immediately. Yeah. You fire customers? I have. OK. Well, let me sit down and eat. Can I suggest something? I don't want you to suggest anything, because if okay. you're now telling me that that room service was you at your best, I'm shitting myself before I start eating. Wow. Let me tell you that. Wow. Wow. I don't know what he's talking about. Blah, 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 blah. Where would you like me to sit? I'm going to go right Thank over you. here. Excellent. Describe the food for me. Um, comfort food, middle of the road. Middle of the road? When was the last time somebody sent food back? <laughs> today. <laughs> oh, today? Oh, you did? Wow. Wow, wow, wow. I'm sorry. <laughs> OK. 
Um, I'll look through the menu. Is this Could I suggest something or no? You don't uh, want my suggestion? If you're going to talk to me honestly, fine. If you're going to start, you know, going defensive... I'm not going to get defensive. I'm just defending what we do here. Now, Abby, I'm not here to argue. You asked me to come here and look at this place to help you out. Let's get one thing clear straight away. Cut the bullshit. Okay. If you're going to sit there and start bullshitting I'm me, not sitting, I'm standing. I'm going to go for your balls. Big time. Wow. When you just told me five minutes ago that the food's 10 out of 10, the room service is perfect, basically I'm going to eat and I'm going to leave, unless you start telling me the truth. I, I don't know where you're coming from. I really don't know where you're coming from. Let me the food. I Let absolutely me... think you're fucking full of shit. I've been here five minutes and already you're in denial. I'm not in denial. I will back up anything my kitchen does. Fine. I'm open-minded. Can I order the food? Absolutely. Thank you so much. Go for it. Appreciate it. Wow, what a welcoming. Yeah, welcome to Providence. Didn't know they did female cage fighters. Holy crap. Boy, I can't wait till Rico gets here. Hi, how are you? I'm Rothy. How are you? Good, good, good. And this is Josh. Josh, good to see you. Welcome to Dallas City. So nice to see that friendly face. Thank you. Um, is the owner, Abby, always that defensive? Yeah. It's scaring me. <laughs> okay, appetizers, calamari. Yeah. Crispy rings with hot sweet pepper sauce. Yeah, I'll go for some of that. Okay. You don't spell peppers like that either. No, I guess you don't. I didn't even know that. How long have you been here? Three years. Three years. Okay, uh, three way nachos. It says uh, it's a party in my mouth. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, if it's good enough to be put on the menu, I'm going to try it. So I'll go for party in your mouth. Okay. And the um, award-winning meatloaf. That's our claim to fame. <laughs> really? Thanks, Josh. You're welcome. Please, may God, we don't die in Rhode Island. OK, this is Gordon Ramsay's order. Let's make Gordon's food. I'm a good cook, but uh, that is not my menu. Of course, I want to do well, but I'm not sure what Chef Ramsay's going to think. He's like, is this how you spell peppers in America? Three P, because it's B-E-P-P? -P? Yeah. There's three P's in there. There is. Hi. How are you? How are you? Oh, thank you. Good nice to see to meet you. Likewise. Jason. Gordon, good to see you. So you're waiter. The waiter, yes. Dining room manager, yes. Brilliant. And being the head waiter, how would you describe the food here? Below par. Yeah. Abby said it was a ten. <laughs> so I'm in for a treat. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> calamari? Okay. Well, this is the crispy calamari. Calamari, yes. Ooh. And um, why is it looking so wet? Uh, it's a uh, sauce that they toss it in. <laughs> Just say that again. You fry it. They fry it. And then you... And they toss it in the sauce. <laughs> and it's soaking wet. All the crispy batter is just coming off. You know, it's not everybody's cup of tea. It's not mine. Yeah, it certainly is not mine either. Uh, but, however, I'm optimistic. <laughs> what do you think? Uh, no. <laughs> I'm sorry. I, I mean, look at that there. Mm -hmm. Oh, my God. Yeah. I'm done on that one. Yeah, I'll get rid of that. I don't understand it. Thank you. You're welcome. Wow. Soggy, chewy, disgusting calamari. Shocking. What do you say about it? You spit the calamari back out. <laughs> <laughs> That's hysterical. What was he bitching about? You spit it out. I'm gonna, like, go at his throat today. And this is a party in your mouth? <laughs> this is the party in my mouth. Should be. Top plate, very hot. It looks dreadful. I think I've just thrown up in my mouth. <laughs> what a mess. Oh, boy. I'm taking it that was one party you didn't want to attend. It wasn't a party in my mouth. It was like a funeral in my mouth. A funeral? <laughs> yeah. Well, it kind of does look like something died. <laughs> What's the matter with that? That's gross. What? We're not doing too good here. I was ready to, like, choke him. Maybe this is the one thing I like. He doesn't like anything. Maybe this will be the one. What, the meatloaf? Well, maybe this will be it. Wow, well, that's the meatloaf. Okay. And this is the um, award-winning. The award-winning meatloaf. Yeah, I'm excited. Thank you. You're welcome. It doesn't move on there, does it? Ooh. <laughs> wow. That's disgusting. What do we think? Wow. It's not even hot. I'm sorry. It's sort of lukewarm, solidified chunks of crap. That's pretty much the norm. <laughs> it must be freaking embarrassing if you just serve this. It is embarrassing. I don't like the meatloaf here at all. We set ourselves up for disappointment when we put award winning in front of it. What was the problem with meatloaf? It's disgusting. Can you be more specific? I didn't hear, I didn't hear what he said. I'm going to have to ask him. Abby and Chef Ramsay are going to go to blows. Can I have a word with the team? It's, it's inevitable. It's going to happen. So 
The food was shocking. Below par, disgusting, dated shit. So, who is the head chef here? We don't really have one, but I guess... What do you mean I, you don't have a head I, chef? But I guess I'm the closest thing. The closest? What does that mean? Talk to me, Abby. That means that I fired my other chef and he took over and I didn't want to give him a title until he proved to himself that he could handle the kitchen. Abby, what you're employing is a ship with no captain at the helm and the team desperate for guidance. No guidance is no standards. No standards is no consistency. So who came up with a menu? If this is American comfort food, somebody's dreaming here. I did. So, I did. I take full responsibility for the menu. You have no cooking background, but you put the menu together. Abby, you've got to understand how frustrating this is. It's ridiculous. I don't know what to say. Fix it. You fix it. That's why you're oh, here. Oh, come on, Abby. How can I fix it when you stand there in front of your team, rating you and your restaurant and your food 10 out of 10 dreamer? I don't, I don't think it's as I bad as you say it's, I it is. Stop being in denial. Can you be more specific about the meatloaf? What did you not like about the meatloaf? Oh, shit! Can you say something besides... Just loopy! I've been called worse than that. Wake up and admit it's shit! Bring it on. Oh, come bring on. Bring it on. What do you mean, bring it on? To have Chef Ramsay say, everything you've done, everything that you've dreamed of doing is shit. I was blown away. I need some fresh air. After Chef Ramsay's harsh critique... The food was shocking, dated and tasteless. Abby has a conversation with the one person she believes is always right, herself. So what do I do? Like, just get out of the restaurant business? Then obviously my 33 years in the business is, like, worthless and I have no idea what the fuck I'm doing. OK. I think I'm going to open up that hot dog stand down the beach. Want some tea or something? No. I believe from the bottom of my heart that he's he's wrong. I really don't care what he says. Well, he's completely full of shit. Like seriously, our meatloaf is like what put us on the map. I mean, it's great. I don't like the meatloaf. You really don't? I honestly don't. We had it the other night together. What? What? What didn't you like about it? I think our food is mediocre. Like it's not. Mini me, seriously. You are telling me now you don't like it? We eat it because we're here. Yeah. This is not my restaurant of choice. I will not dine here in my off time. You're saying for what we serve, comfort food, meatloaf, pasta, steak, whatever. It's you're not saying up for to those? Par even for that. No, no. So now you're all telling me that you don't like the menu? I feel stabbed in the back, I guess. You're just hitting me with this now. Do you know what we're up against if we even opened our mouth about the menu once? Every time we opened our mouth, fuck off, fuck you. You don't know anything. We're all at a point now where we're just like, if this is what she wants, let's just serve it out. We'll take it out of the window and bring it to the table. And try and make the what best are we going to have an opinion about now? Oh, you're so full of shit. No, 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 no. You're Say so full of shit. Talk to us. No. Without a doubt, she's in denial. It's an hour before dinner service, and Down City's other owner, Rico, shows up. Hello. Unaware of what happened earlier, but that's quickly about to change. How are you? I don't even know how to answer that. <laughs> One of those days? I think it's time for Abby to find out that the outbursts and treating employees badly, I think it's definitely time she has someone other than myself telling her, you can't be doing this. Yeah. Wow. I, didn't I, have, I have another asshole, a whole other asshole back here. I've just been ripped open. Make it a double. <laughs> oh, hi. How are you? I'll get up. I'll go say hi. Gordon, good to see you. Nice to meet you, I'm Rico. Rico, now, have you got two minutes? Sure. We're gonna catch up? Uh, where should we go? Yeah, let's go there. the end. He may rip me apart too, but I just want this restaurant to work, so let's get turning it around. Uh, what a day. Um, obviously, you weren't here for lunch. Just explain what you do during the day. Um, I work for Credit Union during the day. I do their mortgages for them. OK, wow. So, finance? Yes, finance. And then you bought a restaurant? And I bought a restaurant. How's that worked out for you so far? Oh, horribly. If we had to close this tomorrow, what are you in for? Nine. Shit, really? Mm -hmm. This is quite serious shit now. Oh, yeah. What happens if it fails? I could possibly lose my day job. Really? Because I'm in the financial field. I'm advising people on what to do with their mortgaging and financing their properties and things like that. So you're up to there? 
you've got a big stake in the restaurants and a huge amount of jeopardy if it fails. Mm -hmm. You're right. There's a line that I walk in here, a very fine line. I have a lot of at stake, but I totally let Abby run the restaurant and maybe this a mistake on my part. With dinner service already underway. What about something to drink to get you started? Chef Ramsay is eager to spend some time in the kitchen to see how it functions. Wow, tight behind the line. So who's in what? Explain the line to me. Uh, this is our kitchen, and then we have our salad to right. down there. Jesus, uh, why is the place so messy? Is the kitchen normally this filthy? The last couple of days, it's been uh, a lot going on. That is foul. With the kitchen in disarray, Chef Ramsay goes on the hunt to find out what is lurking below. Oh, my God. Oh, this is gross down here. Holy crap. Look at that, lamb bones. Just dumped in there like that. What is that? Chicken carcasses. Oh, my God. And while Chef Ramsay has his hands full in the walk-in... God knows what that is. Abby has her hands full in the dining room. Abby. I need a new calamari with the sauce on the side because it says it's too mushy. Can I have another calamari with the sauce on the side, please? It needs to be cooked a little more. Is it? Yeah, I'll take it out of the way for you. I need a spin dip. This is cold. I'm going out of my mind right now. It's a nightmare. Can we just 86 this special? Every single one of them has been sent back. Uh, Rico, Abby, I just need one minute of just both you together. One minute. Why is right now? Like, are you kidding me? Have a look in there. Look at the state of what they're cooking out of. Have you any idea what's in what box, uh, what goes where? Over here, now you've got a little bag of uh, chicken carcasses. On this one here, you've got some raw chicken, cooked pork there. This is you with 30 years in the business. Yeah, hold on, it gets worse. I don't know what that is. Well, look at the cheese or something, but what is that there? What is that? What, you lost the words? The place is a filthy mess. Look, what is that? Lamb bones? And who's organising this? You haven't got a head chef. Jimmy is my head chef. So we have a head chef. Before you weren't ready to confirm he was a head chef, all of a sudden we discover a mess down here. Now, he's appointed. This Rico, why don't we just celebrate and just get out of this business? Why don't we what? It's like, I was talking to Rico. It has nothing to do with you. It has nothing to do with me? No. Excuse me, what do you think I'm doing? I mean, I... I'm you're being, you're being a fucking asshole. This wasn't like this. Hold on it a wasn't like this. I don't hold, run a kitchen like this. Hold on a minute. You're calling me a fucking asshole? I am. You stuck up, precious little bitch. Let me tell you oh something. Oh, boy. Here we go. Listen to me. I'm not going to listen to you. You're in denial. I'm not in denial. Yes, you are. I'm not in yes, denial. you are. And you can't even fuck accept you. it. Fuck there, you. You'll walk out again. I am. Fuck you. There you go. Flip the bird. That's your attitude, and that's your partner. I'm really sorry, but this wasn't like this before I got here. She's deluded that woman. You are insane. You are like... Yeah, blame me all you want. These excuses that you're insane. I'm insane. You're insane. You can't even admit you're the fucking, fucking truth. You're fucking insane. That refrigerator was not like that before you got here. You're in denial. Flip out again. I would no. never allow that refrigerator to and look like that. And those bones, the mouldy lamb bones. I don't even perfect. talk to my staff like this. Why don't you get the fuck out of my restaurant? Want me to go? I would love you to go. I will go. Get the fuck out of my I restaurant, will go. please. You are so okay. in denial. Okay. You need therapy. You're a disgrace to this industry. I'll see you and get out of my restaurant. Are you still here? Not now, guys. Please. Please, please. Fuck him. Right from the beginning, Chef Ramsay and Abby have clashed. Stop being in denial! I don't think it's as bad as you say. Dreamer! But after a confrontation over the state of the walk-in... You're being a fucking asshole. This wasn't like this. You're calling me a fucking asshole? Fuck you. Abby has completely lost it. You are not insane. You are like... Yeah, blame me all you want. These excuses that you're insane. I'm insane. You're insane. And while she has had enough of Chef Ramsay... Get the fuck out of my house, please. You are so in denial. You need therapy. He has had enough of her. You're a disgrace in this industry. Fuck you and get out of my restaurant. Are you still here? Not now, guys. Please. Please, please. Fuck him. Chef Ramsay. Hey, guys, I need some privacy, please. This is, uh, 
Too serious. Um, I'm not going to jeopardise 25 years busting my ass off in this industry to take that from someone so in denial. Mm -hmm. I really don't need this. I would rather this restaurant close than have him in here. That refrigeration unit was a mess. Mm -hmm. Behind the line was a mess. I'm really sorry. Honestly, she's got to start listening. I, I know. I, and I don't know how to make her do it. I really... I don't know. Is he, he's coming back tonight, isn't he? I don't give a fuck where he goes. He can go to hell for all I care. If you want me to leave, I'm out of here. Absolutely not. Absolutely not. OK, I need your help. I've got my 100% support. 100%. OK, I'm going to go for a walk, and I'll come back. OK? okay? Thank you. Thank you. Abby needs to be on board with us and stop her denial of everything. We have to break through it. I feel pretty shit. How would you feel if someone is telling you that your life's work and everything you've dreamed of doing for your whole life um, is shit? Now I'm completely questioning myself and I hope we can have a conversation about what needs to be done in this restaurant. After a volatile evening that included a massive blow up with Chef Ramsay and a weak dinner service, Abby has been clearly humbled and seems ready to finally listen to what Chef Ramsay has to say. Okay, let's agree on something. Today's been a shit day. Mm -hmm. Yeah? Absolute shit. I'm not here to rub your face in it. Let's get that right. Okay. But Abby, you know, I've had failure in my life. But one thing I'm not in is denial. And when I do make a mistake, I admit it. I understand. So tomorrow we need to start being honest and open so I can start rebuilding. I can't rebuild on BS. I agree. I want you to be here. I want you to help me get this restaurant to where I need it to be. Where we know it can be. Yeah. Tomorrow we start again, get some rest. It's a new day, and Abby and Rico are on board for change. Morning, morning, morning. But before that can happen, Chef Ramsay wants to give the staff something they have been rarely given, a chance to talk freely without getting fired. So this is what we're going to do. I want each of you to write down some questions and direct them to the person you want them to answer. This is going to be another hell day for me. Don't sign your name. It's anonymous. I knew that if we were going to do an exercise um, in talking about the restaurant, I knew that it was all going to be directed at me. Thank you very much. OK, good. Here's the, uh, the first one. Wow. Abby, wine is the menu. So huge. We are uh, just um, to give the customer more choices. But the amount of dishes is absurd. And the more dishes, the lower the standard. Uh, Abby and Jimmy, the quality of the food needs to improve. How can we fix it? Good question. It, and it all comes down to menu size. With as many items that are, there are, if you prep 50 items just for dinner alone, and then the dessert menu, if you can't prep enough stuff, yeah. it's, it's like you, you just can't do it. Who's putting all those dishes on there? Abby. Yeah. Abby. When I put this menu together, I just expected my staff to just do this menu. <sighs> Abby, why do you not allow anyone to express their opinions without it being seen as a personal attack to you? Since I bought this restaurant, I became a defensive bitch. I question and I get upset at the fact that you're questioning what I'm doing. That's paranoia. We do care about this restaurant. You are our friends. So we want to see you succeed. And the answer I've gotten from you in the past is, fuck you, that's not true. We're just here for money. Or we're just here what? because we're just here because we can't get other jobs and stuff. And it's it's hurtful because when you invest so much time and you do, we would do anything for you. And I completely realized that we've just got to talk more instead of me yelling and screaming. It can't just be my show. It's not the Abbey show, it's the Down City show. Are you ready to embrace change? Yeah, absolutely. Major change. Absolutely. I think this experience is making Abby realize that she has to relinquish control. And I think she's going to do it because I think Abby turning around is definitely paramount for this restaurant to survive.
Right, Jimmy, let's get one. As Abby's menu was clearly bogging down the kitchen, Chef Ramsay has gone through it and scaled it back. Tonight, I'm just gonna keep it really simple. For tonight's dinner service, half the items are off the menu, and he's introducing a roasted chicken special. Just take the breast, fat side down, just cut through. Everyone's excited, and we can't have another night like the previous few. It's time to get it right. Happy? Happy. Makes it a lot more simple. Big time. Folks, good evening. Welcome to Down City. Follow me. Did you guys decide on appetizers? We're going to have an order of the calamari. So we're doing two calamaris? Oh, let's get the grilled chicken breast, please. Chicken breast? Yes. I've got to get everyone involved if we are going to take Down City to the next step, to the next level. All right, here we go. Order fire, calamari, pizza salad, nishwa salad. Make sure everything comes up at the same time. Tonight's smaller menu is having an immediate impact. Wipe the plates, please. Better prepared appetizers are quickly leaving the kitchen. That's 37, that's up. These um, appetizers go to 39. Can you help her run? And when you combine that with a calm and under control Abby at the helm. Can you run this to the next table, please? Down City's dinner service is off to a good start. Chicken is very delicious. Oh, yeah. Order fire, calamari, another frisee salad, no egg. Jimmy, we've got to bang all these um, know, entrees I know, out. I know. Here, you're on apps. You're on table 28. Now I'm confused on where we are for apps. You need table 28. I don't even have a 36 up here. What are you talking I don't, about? I didn't say oh, 36. One, two, three. Come on, guys. There's nothing coming out. Jimmy is supposed to be the leader in the kitchen, calling out tickets. Do me a favor. Get two of Oh, you're doing something? And they just started crossing paths. No one seems to know what the hell they were doing back there. 29 and 39. Yes or no? No, I'm still waiting on 28. Oh, fucking one. It's an hour and a half into a dinner service that started out as promising. Can I have some food up in the window, please? No, dude, dude, this couscous is runny and gross. But unfortunately, has declined rapidly. They're not even here. That's all the way down there. They have none of this. And not surprisingly, diners are losing their patience. If it's not here within like, the next five minutes, I'm probably going to cancel it. Can I get something up on the line, please? Yeah, well, right now, right now. Jimmy's doing all three sections. He's covering the grill, he's covering the salmon, he's covering the chicken, he's trying to run the kitchen as well at the same time. He's got nothing behind him. Oh, my God, what a shit show. Well, we've been here since 6.30, and it's already 25 of them. We still don't have our entree. I know. I'm, I'm going to so, go check so on your is, entree this is right now. Good. I've got people that had put their orders in an hour and 15, hour and a half, some of them. Where the fuck was that food? Let's uh, find our server and, and let's just go. Did that refried chicken go? Give it to him. I need it right now, please. Come on, is it your first time at the rodeo? Play it up. Guys, I got food dying in the windows. Chris, please. Yeah, I can't take this. It was a disgrace. It was horrifying. It was embarrassing. Don't make this. They just walk. Oh my god. We need a whole kitchen staff. Jimmy doesn't have any excuses anymore. His excuse for months has been, our menu is too big. So we give him a smaller menu to do, and they still can't turn it out. So, I mean, where do we go from here? I need one chicken up on the line right now. With Abby pushing her kitchen staff. I'm not taking this out until it's all up on the line. Can I have a chicken on the line, please? In my hand. OK. They still struggle. Thank you. But manage to get the last entrees out. There we go. And that's, the, that's everything? Start cleaning up. Good night. Thank you. Good night. Thank you. Now, an unusually calm Abby... Jimmy, come out here. Listen to me. ...is about to let loose. What I saw tonight was the worst shit show I've ever seen. Ever, ever, ever seen. No, I know, I know, I know. It did not go smoothly, but they... they, they smoothly? They, they, Jimmy, we were an hour in before more than two dinners went out. An hour into service. I'm almost accepting that. None of us know what the fuck we're doing, and we can't get to the next step. I'm actually considering that. After tonight, I don't know if I have the staff to get it back. I don't know if we can do it. Tonight's dinner service was plagued by confusion and incompetence in the kitchen. Can I get something up on the line, please? I'm confused on where we are. Come on, is it your first time at the rodeo? Play it up. The problems are obvious to Chef Ramsay, but it's time to find out if Abby is still in denial. Abby, what do you see tonight? What happened is it happens all the time. As soon as the line gets hit with a number of slips at one time, the kitchen folds. It goes down in flames. And um, 
I've lost confidence in my kitchen, um, honestly. Jimmy, I'm not blaming you entirely. I'm looking at the tools you've got to work with, and it's a disaster. Behind that line, there's no way on earth this group of cooks can pull off a new menu. So seeing how frustrating it's been here, I made a call to a very experienced chef in my team to be here. First thing tomorrow morning, getting your crew at a respectable level. It's cool having his chef to help us all out, and it's going to be a good experience for all of us. Tomorrow's comeback day. We're relaunching with a new menu. Let's roll up our sleeves and push it. I mean, really push it. Definitely. Can't wait. I'll see you first thing in the morning. Absolutely. Thank you. Good night. I'm glad that kitchen's going to be shown what to do and how to do it properly, because this is it. It's not only my kitchen's last chance, it's my restaurant's last chance. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Wow, come in. How are we? Good. The chef that I brought in, James, has been here since 6 o'clock this morning, supervising, working his ass off with your team, getting ready for this menu. Today, your menu will be in keeping with your beautiful restaurant and your great service. First up, the appetizers. Come down. Oh. Now, these are appetizers. Squeezing on the eye and fun. Ghost cheese truffle dip, honey spiced chicken wings, meatball sliders. Delicious. Wow. Now we can have a real party in our mouth, Abby. <laughs> <Huh>? Can't wait. <laughs> OK, on to the entrees. The main events, seared lamb chop, classic lobster mac and cheese, bacon wrapped, Angus meatloaf. Yay! Thank you. I want you to get familiar with the new menu. Yes, get up to speed with those dishes, have a little taste. This is awesome. That's money. The new menu is... Yeah, I believe. Kind of surprised that it came out of my kitchen. <laughs> oh my god, that is so good. Bacon wrapped okay. meatloaf. Isn't that awesome? Oh my god, that's unbelievable. <laughs> I had no idea that it could get this good. Oh my god, wow. that's amazing. I've been for years describing this restaurant as creative comfort food. I had no clue. This is creative comfort food. <laughs> oh my god, this is like my dream. <laughs> I've never seen Abby this emotional. Like, she does have a heart in there. She does have a soul. It's amazing. <laughs> there is a God. <laughs> now we just got to make it work. <laughs> it's relaunch night at Down City. And while Abby and Rico get the front of the house ready for the most important night in the restaurant's history. We are going to rock this town tonight. Let's go. Let's go. Back in the kitchen. And then we're going to go here, table by table, until we have to do picks. Yes. Chef James is doing the same with the kitchen staff. Every dish perfect, every time. Looks how are we doing tonight? Welcome, welcome. Have you had a chance to look at all the new and fun, exciting menu items that we have? Let's go, guys. Yeah? I want to hear you tonight. I want to hear you too, yes? Let's go. Only minutes into the service, a locally renowned food blogger has arrived. Stacy Place ripped apart her last meal at the restaurant. Happy. You recognize her? Yeah. You know how important she is. But Chef Ramsay convinced her to give it another try. She has 10,000 followers. She blogs tomorrow. We're 10,000 potential customers back up. I've tried everything on this menu today. So if you have any questions, you feel free to ask. Any favorites that we should Oh, yeah, definitely. The goat and cheese truffle dip really stood out for me. Well, that sounds really good. Jimmy, yes. you and I, we're going to be communicating all night. I need the answer 37, 17, and 35. All right. Right now, in the window, I need that fish and chip. I need that slider. Slider's up, Chef. A reinvigorated Jimmy has the kitchen moving in the right direction. Calamari, sliders. Jimmy, keep it going, yeah? Frise salad on the fly. And the new menu is being embraced by the customers. <laughs> wow. But just when it appears as though it's going to be smooth sailing. I need a chowder, a calamari, a slider. Jimmy, did you call a calamari for table 30? I just did. Abby and Jimmy. Listen to me. Are having a communication breakdown. I need four soups and one chowder up in the line, please. That's incorrect. Uh-oh, here we go again. A repeat of last night. The kitchen's going down. We're fucked. Jimmy, focus on 37. Yeah? This is the golden ticket. 
This is it. All right, lead ticket. I need a truffle dip. Truffle dip takes six minutes, yes? Yes, sir. All right, get it in the oven. Jimmy, look at me. We're falling behind. Yeah, Stop to work together. Yeah. Hey, bro. It has been. Come on, guys, there's nothing coming out. Please. Right, let's get this food out. Give me a time on the truffle dip, please. Jesus, she's not blogging now, yeah. is she? What's she doing? She's definitely blogging. She's blogging live from the table? We've got bloggers live from their table, guys. I need a trouble dip up on the line right now. Urgently, please. I was horrified. We are slipping like the night before. They're blogging as we speak. I wanted to, like, just scream. Come on, guys, I need some food on the line. There's nothing hitting the window. Come on, guys. I need to see some food up on this line. It's taking too long. Literally, my kitchen going down in flames. Listen, Jimmy. One minute, Abigail. And there was literally nothing I could do about it. Abby. Jimmy, I need a truffle dip. Come on, guys. It's 45 minutes into dinner service. Let's get this food out. We've got bloggers live from their table, guys. And an influential food blogger who can greatly affect the future of Down City. I need a truffle dip up on the line right now. Still has not received her appetizers. Abby, two seconds, quickly. Take over. Take over. Let's go. Abby. Just tweet it. Waiting for appetizers. Getting hungry. OK? This is yeah. not bullshit now. Menu's there. Chefs are there. I need you there. Control it. Yeah? I know what you're capable of. Yeah. Yes? And it's been tough for the last couple of days. Yeah. Granted. However, you've got to find your voice. OK. Come on. All right, OK. Please. Please. It's definitely time to step it up. We want everything to go right with that table, and we're going to get the job done. Listen, Jimmy, they're already blogging that they're waiting too long for food. Let's get this food out. All right, how long on a solo truffle dip? Urgently, please. Truffle dip behind you. Thank you. Truffle dip in the Sally. Caesar's there? With that Caesar, I need sliders and a truffle dip. Come on, guys. Happy. Abby, read that discreetly. Truffle dip, amazing, yes? Yeah. Come on, keep it going, yes? On trays, make sure they come together, OK? Fire that table, please, yeah? Jimmy, What's table up? 37, did you fire? I did fire. Good. That's how we got everything. This is a really good season. With Abby focused on the task at hand. Come on, let's get loud back there. And Jimmy in full control of his kitchen. You guys can fire that fish and chip. Quality entrees are quickly heading out to the dining room. Midrare lamb chops, salmon, ribs, filet. Midrare lamb herd. Food looks amazing. The food looks outstanding. Absolutely amazing. It appears as though blogger Stacy Place has reached her verdict. And she's not the only one. Do you like that? And those chips, aren't they delicious? Yeah. A lot better than last night, right? Yeah, definitely. Yeah. How was everything? Delicious. The great. flavor was right there. Everything was great. Great. Thank you so much for coming in, oh. and we're going to see you again. I was living an absolute kitchen nightmare, and my dream just came true. I'm in absolute shock. Like, this is the restaurant I've always wanted. Those are the last few desserts. Jimmy, it was awesome. Thank you. It's a new Dell city. I'm just absolutely loving it. Right. Last night, I said Down City needed to make a comeback. Tonight, we did just that. Well done. Each and every one of you pulled off a great service. Customers loved the food. Abby, how do you feel, babe? I feel beyond belief fantastic. Looking back at it now, I was so unprofessional. Why don't you get the fuck out of my restaurant? Go? Get no. the fuck out of my I restaurant, please. The new Abby is professional. I just want to continue learning. It's just made me such a better leader. Come on in. Give me a hug. You're not going to ask me. I'm going to ask you. That's right. I, Gordon Ramsay, are asking you for a hug. Come here. Huh? Thank you. I absolutely love Chef Ramsay, and uh, I'm going to miss him when he goes. Thank you very much, Russell. This restaurant is getting back on the map that it hasn't been on in a while. And I know it's only going to get better. Good night. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Without question, the biggest transformation this week is Abby, which I never expected. As Abby goes, so goes Down City. If she can keep her cool, this restaurant is going to be a huge success. Wow. Party in my mouth, please. Woo. 
after Chef Ramsay left, Chef James stayed on and continued to train the cooks. It gets prepped and put away. Allowing Jimmy the chance to thrive. All right, my meatloaf's being played, and that sells the lead. And Abby rewarded him with a promotion. I wanted to introduce to all of you our head chef, James Berman. Let's give it up. Eager to spread the word about their upgraded restaurant, nice to meet you. Abby and Rico hit the town. This is a crispy pork belly in a lettuce cup. Doing some grassroots marketing by giving out samples of their new menu. It's right down the street, it's walking distance. Yeah. Chef Ramsay saved my restaurant, he really did, but I've got to continue it. I promise him that the next time he comes back, the food will be a 10. Nestled in the middle of the up and coming neighborhood of Eagle Rock, California, is Capri, an Italian restaurant which is owned by the Theo Twins. Hi, Hi. I'm Jeff. Yeah. Jeff. No, I'm Jeff. You're Jim. I'm Jim. And we're, we're the, the owners, owners of the Capri, Capri Italian restaurant. Good evening, Capri. Jim speaking. How we got into the restaurant business was we used to come here all the time, and we loved the place. So we would said, we'll buy it. The feeling was, it's like, dude, free pizza. All right. Yeah, yeah. Word, word. Uh-huh. Team Capri. Twins are like two overgrown boys. <laughs> Jeffy's getting larger. <laughs> Let's play symbol. They're just kind of immature. Oh, I see how you do the chicken fillet. Excuse me. They're just doing what they know. And it's not working. <laughs> Ta-da! Sorry. Are you okay? Sorry. It's okay. <laughs> Yes, everybody is entertained by their childishness. But it is a restaurant, and we're here to serve food. That looks good. Oops. You know what? These guys can't cook. We gotta figure a better way to do the lasagna. We're getting too many people saying it's overcooked. Do you think we should cook it less? The food that comes out in the kitchen looks terrible. What do you say? It wasn't cooked, it's raw. Yeah, I win them all. It's embarrassing. It looks like nobody cares. You sure you don't like raw chicken? Dear, they're an issue. Jim and Jeff are lazy. All right, I'm going to the car. Wake me up when it's over. Lazy is an understatement. The twins' highest priority is doing as little work as possible. There's something that we're doing wrong, and I'm not sure what it is. But in the financial situation, hit the pooper. We're broke. <laughs> Oops, that pink is never a good color. I haven't paid them for a few months. We need help. If things don't change, I would say the doors will close quickly. Hello? No, the phone's not working again. Fingers crossed that Chef Ramsay's gonna help us. Italian dining since 1963. Closed since 1963. My God. Hideous. Oh, Hello. Hi there. How are you? Pretty good. I'm Jeff. Good to see you. Good to see you. Likewise. Uh, it looks shut from outside. Uh, yeah, we're not open yet. Are you not open yet? No. When do you open? Uh, Four o'clock. Dinner only? Yeah. And you're the uh, owner? Yeah, my Brilliant. brother and I are. OK, great. Would you like to meet my brother? Uh, yes, please. What's his name? Jim. Jim. And you're Jeff? Yep. Oh my god, look at this place. OK. What do you want to Just say, hey, how's it going? OK. You know. It's fun to play jokes on people. In the Twin Union book, you got to mess with people. Hey, how's it going? Jeff, is your brother not available? No, I'm Jim. No, no, come on. No, I'm his brother. You're kidding me. No, I am. Seriously. I am serious. <laughs> Jeff, go and get Jim. Come on, don't listen. All right. All I've right. got Hold work on. to do. Hold on. Please. Hold on. Hold on. I'll get him. What is this, the comedy store? <laughs> Bloody hell, look at them. Are you kidding me? Come <laughs> on, guys. <laughs> Jeff and Jim. Yes. Correct. Jeez. Look at you two. <laughs> you are identical. <laughs> You're not dressing like this. Especially no, today. No, this we, is, we, we wear this as this is for the rest. You've even got the same sneakers on. Yeah. <laughs> pen there, pen there. I didn't even notice. T-shirt that. there, t-shirt <laughs> there. I didn't notice. Bit that. of flower there, bit of flower there. Yep. Yeah. Well, it's quite scary. Yeah, yeah. Jim. Yep. And Jeff. Yep. So who's in charge? <laughs> yes. 
No, uh, basically I am. I've worked here longer than he has. Okay. Uh, what, since 1963? Come on. We oh, no, no, we no. bought it about 14 years ago. Okay, so why aren't you open for lunch? The Capri's never opened for lunch, which is good. I'd rather go on the computer, watch TV, play poker. The problem is, for lunch, we have to get another whole staff. Goof off, sit in the sun. <laughs> you haven't even tried it? No, I haven't. No, I'm not ready to jump into the lunch yet. OK, but you're open every day for dinner? Wednesday through Sunday. Say that again? Wednesday, Wednesday through, through Sunday. Sunday. What's wrong with Monday, Tuesday? So help me understand this. OK. Right. So you actually close longer than you open? Yeah. Really? Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> OK, well, thanks for updating me. I'm going to sit down and uh, eat. Please, yeah. right over here. Thank you. Let me get you some water. I'll get the water. No, I'll get the water. Yeah. Jeez, seriously? Are these menus from 1963 as well? No, they're getting old. I know, we have to get... You're kidding me. But look at that. Is this a joke? No, it's not. You're kidding me. I can't me. believe they're, they're falling apart. You can't even read that. It's so dirty. First impressions. Wow. OK, give me five minutes to have okay. a read of the menu. OK. okay. Yeah. And I'll, uh, I'll catch up with you guys later, yeah? OK. Holy crap. I don't know what Chef Ramsay expected, but it's not a shishi place. I'm not a shishi kind of guy. I'm more down to earth. Oh, hello, I'm how are you? Colleen, I'm your server today. Okay, nice to see you. Colleen, how long have you been here? Nine and a half years. A decade? <laughs> yeah. Seriously, what was the last thing we got changed in here? Oh, this is still the same way the original owners had it. Really? The wallpaper's been up there for 35 years. My God. Let's, uh, let's go through the menu, yeah? Let's start off with um, meatball sandwich. I love meatballs. Who makes them? They come from a company that we order from. <laughs> You're kidding me. No. You can't even make a meatball. I can. <laughs> OK, let's go for the meatball sandwich. And let's go for the chicken scapella. OK. Pizza. Ooh. Let's go for the uh, Capri Colossal. You want the big one? Yeah, why not? OK. OK, I'll let you put that order in. OK. Thank you. You're welcome. OK, what do we have to make? Chicken scarpillo, meatball sandwich, extra large colosso. He wants an extra large? Jim, get me an extra large dough. What does he want? The colossal. All righty. So it's not just the menus. Oh, dear. Bits of sauce down there. Crap. Ugh. Just disgusting. Bits of everywhere. There's tape on the carpet. Look at this place. When was the last time the place was cleaned? Not lately. How long has this stuff been here? 20 years. 20 years? Bloody hell. Oh, it's like it's snowing. Oh, oh my God. That's gross, no? Yes. That's, that's above people's... That's very, yes. Jim, two seconds, please. When was the last time this place was cleaned? Ah! Uh... Have you seen this? No, I did not. My goodness me. Who's responsible for the cleaning here? I'm responsible. I didn't do it. Have you seen the fans? I do not like to clean. I hate cleaning. To me, that's a four-letter word. So I'm about to start eating. I give that a little shake, and all of a sudden, the dust just runs down. Let me wash my hands before I start eating. What a mess. You want to microwave these meatballs, please? OK. Work with me. Cheese. Sandwich is ready. OK. A meatball yeah. sandwich. Meatball sandwich. Um... OK. And so they buy the meatballs, they defrost them, and then has that been microwaved or...? Yes. Thank you. What else do we have to make? Uh, scarpello. That's nasty. When a restaurant can't even be bothered to make a meatball, that's not a good sign, let me tell you that. Somebody should tell him the chicken's definitely dead. Well, not again. What's the 
matter with these guys? Oh my god, what in the hell is that? The Colasso pizza. Wow. I mean, it's like someone's cleared out the fridge. Look at it, it's endless. It has a little bit of everything except for anchovies. Oh, that's dreadful. OK, thank you. OK. The crap and the gunk on top of it is just hideous. You didn't like the pizza? He's not liking anything. Oops. Now we have the chicken scarapella. Oh. Wow. It looks dull. That's not right. Oof. It smells. Is that fresh? Um. Can you ask them how old the chicken is, please? Whoa, that was nasty. How old is the chicken? I don't know. When did we get it? Uh, I don't know. We took it out of the freezer How yesterday. It's 14 years old. We took it out of the freezer yesterday. It's frozen and it's not fresh because we can't afford to keep fresh meat here all the time because we don't serve that much. If he wants to donate money so I can make it fresh, no problem, but otherwise, tough They're not open for lunch, but so far, what I've just experienced, they shouldn't be open for dinner either. He took out the freezer yesterday and doesn't remember when the delivery was. Excuse me. Oh, dear. Excuse me. I didn't think it was that bad. Ugh. Under the tables, it's littered with gum. Colleen. Yes? Look at that. It's everywhere. Ugh. Absolutely disgusting how lazy some people can be. Let's go on a gumball rally. Oh, oh, God, under there, look. The size of the gum under that one. Oh, look at that one at the end. In the corner. Oh, my God, look at that one there. When was the last time the tables were cleaned? Not ever that I've known of underneath. They've never been cleaned underneath? No. Oh, my God. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five, six. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eighteen, nineteen, twenty bits of gum. Every freaking table has gum underneath of it. Has gum underneath. We're gonna get out of there. No. Don't say that. Come on, stop crying. Grow up, you. You. Uh, Jim, Jeff. Coming. I'm really nervous. Oh, dear. Dear, oh, dear, oh, dear. I'm afraid of what Chef Ramsay has to say. Honestly, you seem like nice guys, but that was painful. The general feel of the place is disgusting. I can tell how much you don't care. You just stand there with your foot on the booth. Can you get your dirty feet off your own booths? Have a look at this. Every table is littered with stale, disgusting gum. We just, we never looked underneath the table. Didn't have the time? Busy for lunch? No. Open seven days a week? Not. The meatball sandwich? Disgusting. The chicken was turning. And then the colossal. Kate with crap. Were they canned mushrooms on top? Yeah. Canned olives? Mm-hmm. Soggy and tasteless. Where's the pride? I don't know. Come on, guys. It's like a joke. Find a pulse and get real. Before we open for dinner tonight, would you mind wiping the lampshades? And can somebody get under the tables and get rid of that gum? Yeah. I'm going for lunch. I'll see you later. Starving. Capri, classic Italian. What a joke. He said our food sucked. And uh, that uh, our restaurant's really filthy. I think it was that bad. After sampling the horrendous food, 
That's not right. And discovering a dining room that hasn't been cleaned in quite some time. Oh, God, under there, look. Chef Ramsay has instructed the twins to clean up the restaurant before dinner service. You do the fans. I don't want to get on a ladder. Let's get Darian in here. I have a staff to do the cleaning. That's why I'm considered the boss, and they are someone that works with me, <laughs> for me. Get in here, now. We don't have a lot of time. We have to turn everything over. We got an hour before we're supposed to open. After the staff takes over the cleaning of the dining room, Capri opens for dinner. Hello. Chicken start. Hello. And Chef Ramsay arrives. The door shakes. To see the twins in action. Have you ever seen a kitchen like this before? Well, this place is littered with crap. What's that there? CO2 for the beer. Look at those shelves. I mean, that's grime. That's like 14 years of grime there. Chef Ramsay, what's that? Oh, there's dust here. There's This is just like, it's not that bad. What's in here, dare I? Vegetables. That's the vegetables. What's this at the bottom? Uh, that's supposed to be eggplant. What? Eggplant Parmesan. When were they cooked? Last Thursday. Last Thursday? God almighty. Look at that. Oh, feel that. Tomato sauce. Yeah, but feel it. I know. It's, we just made it today. So what's it doing in the fridge? Hold we... that. I know it's hot. Hold it. What does hot things do that are sealed that goes inside a cold fridge? The sauce goes sour. I didn't know that. You didn't know that. Can I suggest you spend five minutes sorting out your first before you start cooking, yeah? Okay. I should have known better. He's right, but he, he's just a pain in the ass about it. Darren, can you go through it real quick? Yeah. Trash. Thank you. With the rotten vegetables thrown away. I need to order wings, please. And the order's pouring in. Jim and Jeff get back to cooking. Darren, order green beans, please. Got it. And begin to send food out of the kitchen. Make sure they say a prayer before they start eating that. Hey, the chicken. I can't eat that. But the diners are less than impressed. It's so disgusting. I'm nauseous. OK. They sent this back. They didn't like it? They said that you can't eat it. What was this? It was like a pile of And a pile of mush. Big pile of mush. Is anyone tasting anything, seasoning, tasting? Every time a dish came back, it was like losing a customer, and uh, it hurts. What was wrong with it? It's too floury and not enough sauce. It makes me feel like a loser. I do really feel like a loser right now. Jeff, you OK? Oh, I'm just frustrated. Come on, let's get it. Huh? I'm, I'm working on it. That's all right, get some fresh air. Let's go. What's the matter? Just, that was a failure. Just, you can't give up like that. I'm not trying to, just, it's not going right. I need to see what I've got to work with before I can start looking at any form of change. You have to bounce back. I'm, Huh? I'm working on it. I really am. Jeff, you've got to. Okay, come on. OK. Let's go. Come on. Fight okay. back. Let's go. Come okay. on. Mm. Chef Ramsey's right. you got to pull yourself together and get back in there and get through the night. How are we doing? We're doing well, sir. Thanks to Chef Ramsey's encouragement, Jeff jumps back into dinner service and tries to help his brother Jim get the kitchen back on track. Keep it up, Jim. You're doing a good job. But unfortunately, he only makes matters worse. Jim. What have we done to those? I don't know what happened to those. I, I, I really don't. Defrosted them in the bag? I think they were defrosted in the bag, and I... Jeff. Yeah. The chicken tenders, what did you do to them to defrost them? I put it uh, on the steam table. You defrosted them in the steam table from frozen? Yeah. Oh, my God. Now what you're supposed to do. No. Frozen food needs to be defrosted naturally. Right. Give me the bag. Where's the bag? Oh, God almighty. We can't serve them. 
You kill somebody. Jim, talk to me. What am I supposed to say? It's a mistake. It's a lethal mistake. Why is it bitter? It's really bad. Is that what I ate lunchtime? Yeah. Oh. It's gross. It's horrible. It's disgusting. I've been feeling a little bit crap all afternoon. What are you two doing? I up. I up. Well, what do you want me to say? I want you to step up to the plate and be a man. I screwed up. You haven't told anyone yet. He was just being a jerk. He was an ass. I'm so tired of him just pushing and pushing. Grow some <laughs> and take it off the menu. I've had enough. I'm so pissed. I can only take so much before I fight back. Jim, Jim, wait. Jim. It's an hour into dinner service. Oh, God almighty. And Chef Ramsay has just discovered a lethal mistake. Spoiled chicken at Capri. You kill somebody. What am I supposed to say? Take it off the menu. Jim, Jim, I don't wait. Ladies and gentlemen, Due to certain circumstance, we have no chicken tonight. Oh. My apology to everyone here. If you just want to have what you're eating now and leave, I understand fully, and I apologize. Hey, there may have been a more subtle way of doing that. Get out of my way. When we canceled all our chicken orders, we got screwed. Will you stop acting like a baby? Oh, blow it out, you Excuse me? You heard it. Hey, wait a minute, need diaper changing. I'll give Is you that time of night? Little poo-poo and caca pants. He's the baby. He's the one that's whining over everything. I don't need to hear this crap. Jim, why do you have to behave like this? I'm not going to get yelled You're at. You're walking around like a big baby, and I'm just asking you to grow up a little bit. Show a little bit of respect for what you're trying to cook. Oh. oh my god, you big wet noodle. Do you want a blanket and a bottle? Do you need one? Upside the head? Jim, stop oh it. Oh my please. god, what a spoiled brat. Jim, shut up, please. You're not helping the cause. Oh my god. Now he's setting himself on fire. I hope so. Are they always acting up this childish? Oh, yeah. They don't get their way, they cry. Or throw a temper tantrum. Oh, my gosh. To walk into the dining room like that and scream. That's why I said temper tantrum. There's a part of me that's very satisfied to see the boys finally get what they deserve. The lesson in humility. <laughs> OK, where are you at now? I don't know. I'm sorry, but yeah. it's really late. Let me go check on that for you. Can I pass you this? They've been here since we opened, and they haven't got their food yet. Jim, some of the tables have been waiting two hours out there. I know. But well, you don't even seem to be bothered. I am bothered. Yeah, there's only three tables we served at entrees. Come on, guys, just show a little bit more enthusiasm, surely. No, it doesn't look good. Oh, damn it. This can't be happening. It's just like a bad nightmare. Let's drink our wine and coke. I'm out of here. Window wants to walk. Cancel window. Customers were not happy, so I got tired of waiting and left. It was very disappointing. I'm sorry, I'm not. It was a bad night. Our dishes took longer than usual. It was just an embarrassing night. OK, today could be summed up in one four-letter word, lazy. I can't even start to help both of you when you're not helping yourselves. I really need you to do something. Both of you, go through your kitchen and clean it. Not your staff, you, both of you. Got it? Yep. Good night. Get to work. We weren't lazy. Now we're paying for it. We're failures. Yay. I'm just making it dirty here. I can't do this. What's wrong, Jim? I can't clean anything. I'm a failure. I'm making a mess. I feel bad. We are in trouble. I really don't know if we can fix it. That's the problem. I'm not cleaning anything up. Go take a break, Jim. Uh, uh, no, I can't take a break. 
because I'm too lazy as it is. No, I'm afraid. I gotta clean this up. No. After the twins spend most of the night cleaning, Chef Ramsay arrives early, and with the help of longtime waitress Colleen and pizza maker Darian, he does something the twins have never done open for lunch. Okay, Darren. Yes, sir. It's gonna be fast, it's gonna be furious, but you can do it, okay? I'm game for this. How you doing? You should come in and have some lunch. I would like the lasagna, please. Pizza. Pizza. Lasagna. Lasagna. Enjoy. This is delicious. Mmm. So yeah. It's really good. Oh, look at that. We got a sign twirler. Now open it for lunch. <laughs> oh, cool. What's going on here? <laughs> Oh, cool. Oh, wow. I can't believe this is happening. Wow. This is our place? <laughs> Hi, welcome. Hi. Thanks for making it today. Thank you. Uh, take a seat. Feeling a little bit peckish? Um, yeah. Yeah? Well, let me get you a nice little uh, chopped salad. This is different. Uh, let's start off with a little oh. chopped salad. Thank you. And make sure you save some room for an Italian sausage lasagna and a very simple um, margarita pizza. Thank you. I'm sorry. Excuse me. It's a good pizza. I like it. Thank you. OK. Whilst you two were at home, nice and cosy, I got here early this morning with Darren and Colleen. I think today we put over $300 in the cash register. Wow. Yeah. $300. If you do that five times a week, that's $1,500. That's almost our rent. So it's a lot of money. Talk to me. I'm just... <laughs> I'm very happy. Yeah. I had my eyes shut, and that was wrong. I sat on my butt, being lazy. You can't have your butt stuck to your bed every morning. You've got to get out and, and break the mold. Message understood loud and clear? Yep, loud and clear. After finally getting through to the twins about their laziness, Chef Ramsay wants to dig a little deeper. He has an unorthodox plan that will allow the brothers to work out their issues and their frustrations. Time to let go of the past and to embrace the future. Gloves on. I'm not going to be fighting Chef Ramsay, am I? I want to know what's holding you back. One, two. Oh, for God's sake. What is that? Two. What is that? I don't work out. It's like starting an old car after a year sitting there. It's going to go fart out a little bit. Come on. What pissed you off the most? What is it? Myself. Why? Huh? Because I'm lazy. When was the last time you did something 100%? I can't remember. What are you afraid of? Tell me. Screw it up. Damn it. It's just screw it up. I've done it all my life. I'm a failure. You're not a failure. Yes, I am. You are not. <sighs> we all make mistakes in life. <laughs> Embrace change. Are you keen to make this business work? Yeah, it's time. I'm ready to move on to make a success out of this. OK, last 10. Let's go. And again, and again, come on, hit it. You can stop kissing it, come on, come on, and again. Ready to change? Yes. Good man. Yeah. Get the f out of here. I know I'm going to put behind me all the, uh, the laziness and look towards the future and the successes that are coming. Jeff, let's go. Good, good, nice. It feels good to just let out a whole bunch of that's I've been hanging on to. Nice, nice, nice. Take a breather. Good. Wow. What does this restaurant mean for you? A life, a career. And you think by sitting on your lazy ass all day long and turning up, halfway through the day it's going to make it work. You need to commit. Okay. Good. You, in here. Let's go. I don't want any headshots. Just one round. 
and tell each other it's time to work. Let's go. We can work together. We can work together. And if we can be successful, we just gotta talk to each other. Can I keep anything inside? Yeah. You know? No. Oh. Oh. Stop. Well done. Give him a hug. Boxing each other uh, was a good exercise because it, it cleared the air and it showed me that I, it's time for me to work hard for the business for both of us. OK. Good. It's time for change. Got it? Got it. Are you ready? Ready. Good. <sighs> Get cleaned up. I'll meet me back at the restaurant. Satisfied that the twins are ready to make some changes within themselves. Okay, how are you feeling? Good. good. Chef Ramsay okay, now good. wants to focus on something else that needs a major change. The food. When was the last time you made a meatball? Probably five years ago. Yeah, and why did you stop? It was easier. Lazy. Oops. Let's make a meatball okay. together. It's been a long time since we made meatballs, but I'm ready to do this. I am a professional. Right. Ground beef. Season, yeah? Salt and pepper. Garlic. Handful of chili flakes. Chef Ramsay is a magician in the kitchen. Oh, you just add this and this and this, and it's just like. Jeff. Yes. How big do you like your balls? <laughs> uh, pretty good size. I mean, you know. Golf ball size. What? A little taste. What do you think? It's good. I like it a lot. Can you do that? Yes. Can you do that if you need help? Yes. Homemade meatballs. Homemade yes. meatballs. The difference is night and day. Homemade. Homemade. Can't hear you. Homemade. homemade. Can't hear you. It's homemade meatballs. Get outside and shout in the street. Homemade meatballs. Tell them in the neighborhood. We have homemade meatballs. I can't hear you. We have homemade meatballs. Finally. Stop. We have homemade meatballs. We have Faced with a restaurant that hasn't been touched since 1963, Chef Ramsay and his team work overnight to give this restaurant one of the biggest makeovers in Kitchen Nightmares history. Right, good morning. Good morning. Good morning. You are in for a big shock. Are you ready to see the new Capri? Yes. yes. Good. On the count of three. One. Two. No peak. Oh, oh, my oh my god! Wow. Oh my this god. This is nice. <laughs> Just have a look. We have brought the Capri from 1963, fast forward it, transformed it to 2011. It's beautiful. A look at it. Oh, cool hip. Man. This place is going to be hopping. This is nice. Oh, wow. Gone is the carpet that was stuck together with tape. You have the most amazing reclaimed wood. Lining the walls. Look at Yeah, that's us. right. We had to put it on the wall as well. Colleen, yeah. what do you think? It's... Isn't it amazing? It's amazing. We got rid of those hideous green boots. You have the most amazing tailor-made cut pews as benches from your local church. Oh, wow. wow. Sit down in the pew. You're happy. Yeah. Like a piggy. Yeah. yeah. It's great. Colleen. Yes, Come forward, darling, and bring those menus from the pocket there. Oh, look at this. Gone are the dirty plastic menus. Look at it. Design and what your kitchen is capable of producing. So now it's time to stop ignoring the business and run the business. OK. Yeah? I get nervous when you don't talk. Oh, he's, huh? he's totally stuck. Come on. It's just amazing. It really is. I've never heard you this quiet. I don't have anything What's the matter? Just amazing. I'm in shock. I never thought I could look so different. This is beyond what I could ever think could happen. It's amazing. Wow. We're moving up. And it's exciting. It's a second chance on life. This is going to be the coolest place in Eagle Rock now. Exactly that.
Right, come through, please. Look at this. Oh, my oh. God. Let's start off with meatballs or forno, yes? What are they? Homemade, Homemade meatballs. meatballs. Homemade meatballs. OK, salads for the table. Welcome. An Italian chopped salad. Yay! For me, the hallmark, the pizza. The margarita, classic eggplant, palm pie, delicious, and just gives a completely different twist. Now, entrees. Baked meat lasagna, one of my favourites, yeah? Mm. Baked herb chicken with fingerling potatoes and a white wine sauce. Jim? I like it. That's Jeff. A lot. It's cool. I'm Jeff. That's Jim. Yeah. <laughs> right, little taste? Yes. Jump yes. in. All right. Oh, the broccoli is so good. The food looks unbelievable, and it even tastes better. It's excellent. The eggplant is amazing. I'm starting to get full already, and I haven't tasted half the stuff. Excuse me. Welcome. Put you right over here, please. Word of Capri's relaunch has spread through Eagle Rock. We have a new menu. We have great salads and appetizers to start with. And the dining room fills up quickly with customers eager to try the new menu. You want to do the mac and cheese? The bowl is chicken wing. I'll go grab that and come back to you. All right, let's go. There you go, Jim. Medium margarita pizza and a baked chicken. OK. And I, and I want you to call it out like a chef. OK. Owner. I got two. What is that? Hot potato skins, two wings. Yes, sir. How are you doing, Jim? I'm nervous, but I have to believe that I am in charge and I know what I'm doing. Own it, own it, own it, own it, yeah? Come yeah. On. Don't leave from the top, buddy. In spite of Jim's nerves... Table five is ready. Pick it up, please. Food is quickly making its way out to the diners. The high enough. Perhaps a little too quickly. Listen, guys, guys, the chicken's not hot enough, especially inside there. Get in the oven, get the pan hot first. Jim, I think he's starting to really get a little panicky. Jim, give me time with the chicken, please. I, I, I got the, the chicken in, in the, what's in the pan and stuff. It's, it's heating up. Jim, bounce back. Yeah. It's not a race. Yeah. Customers will wait for good food. Hot food out the window. I'm dragging the meatballs. Here's spaghetti meatball. Is that how I showed you to play a Spaghetti meatball. No. It looks like someone on my plate. Dear Jim, it's like, come on. It's so easy. Just on. And you're more capable of doing that, I'm telling you. It's not rocket science. You can't even grate cheese. No, no, no. Stop panicking and yeah. focus. I'm panicking right now because we want to get food out quick. But it's like, hey, don't screw this up. It's an hour into service. Sausage. And Jim is struggling to keep up with the orders. Jim, how much longer on my table four? It's coming up right now. Unfortunately, a relaunch that had such promise. The appetizer meatballs. Did you really? I did yes. not see that. Looks like it's slipping away. Your chicken's coming also. Jim, look at me. What table number is that for? 16 is there. You cutting it right now? I had a mushroom and a meat lover. Put it right up. This is going to 16. They haven't even got their appetizers. Oh, for sake. God darn it. Oh, come on. Come in, you. Come in, both of you. I need you for 30 seconds out of all this. Oh, oh, man, we're doing this again. I thought we got through this. Please don't let this be the end. No, no, no. No, 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 no. It's relaunch night at Capri. And with the kitchen backed up... Jim, give me time with the chicken, please. The chicken in, in the what's in the pan and stuff, it's, it's heating up. And diners waiting over an hour for food... Come in, both of you. Chef Ramsay has no. seen enough. No. Look at me. Look at me. Right now, you're making yourself look stupid. Right. It's a big night tonight. Yes. And you're pissing it up. Yes. So please listen to me. You have to command your kitchen. Yes. You have to work together. But yes. it's not a race. Right. Customers are going to wait for good food. Stop panicking and yes. focus, OK? Yes. Come on. Chef Rosen was like, what the f is this? How could you? And I go, Ugh. We slip back into our old ways of doing it. And it's like, you got to change. This is a new Capri. I need an order of garlic knots and pepperoni and cheese. Yes, sir. Let's go, Helton. I'll take care of this. Got it. It's time that I grew up. It's time that I start working as a man and not as a butthead. Sausage and bean, put some cheese uh, on I'd this. I put these on this, right? Yeah, put a little uh, oregano. Oregano. OK, Jim, good. Now we're getting a system. Convict it, yes? Yeah. What's next? On uh, 16. Good. I got hot food up here. Please serve it. Once we started hitting our rhythm, it was great, because things were going out. Jeez, 
Excuse me? We settled down and we got it zooming along. How are we doing? So good. The meatballs are our favorite thing okay. to This is really good. It's delicious. This is made from scratch, you can tell. This is so amazing. It's been one hell of a roller coaster ride, but we've learned a lot from Chef Ramsey, and he's left us with a lot of inspiration and hope. I can see that we will make it if we keep doing what we're doing. Jim, Jeff, you've come a long way. It's been a tough journey. Yes. And in order for this place to continue functioning, you both must work at it. Yes. Don't clutter. Yes. Show up early. Yes. Lazy is a four-letter word. Yes. Good. <laughs> God bless you both. <laughs> Thank you, sir. OK? Yeah. Thank you very much. <laughs> Good luck. We've went through a lot to get, uh, you know, to get the nightmare into a, a, a dream. It's yeah. still a learning process, but the future looks really good. The Capri is going to work. Good luck. God, honestly, I'm never going to forget the twins in Eagle Rock. Let me tell you that. Thank you. Good night. Thank you very much. Jeez. Yes. <sighs> wow, that was hard. I mean, really hard. But I now really believe that both Jim and Jeff and their little restaurant can become a huge tourist attraction here in Eagle Rock. And come on, <laughs> who doesn't love a pizza <laughs> and a show? <laughs> Oh, that was hard. Man. Just one month after Chef Ramsay's departure. Can I take a picture of you two with, with Jen? You oh, sure, sure can. Nice. The twins kept their promise and opened for lunch. It's excellent. It's really good. The new food and decor have made Capri a hot spot in Eagle Rock. Come back again. We're going to keep this going now. This has been a life-changing experience. Thank you very much, Chef Ramsay, for what you did for us. I think it's going to work. It's going to work. By the way, we have homemade meatballs. Yeah!